Shalom brothers and sisters. So, this one is interesting. I've seen this coming and they've been threatening to do this for a while. To put the snake bite into everyday foods for those of us who didn't take it. So that you'll get it in either way. And that is what they're working on at the moment. So this article points to that. Thanks to Zuckerberg and Gates, your meat, vegetables and pets are being injected with mRNA. A former subsidiary of Pfizer, Zutis, has already injected 100 million animals with the mRNA in the U.S., explained Dr. Byron Ardis during an interview on Diamond and Silk's show. According to the doctor, our pets might also receive the vaccines. This mRNA technology is funded by the foundation of Mark Zuckerberg and his wife, and they've been doing this all over the country for a year and a half already. Hunters were the first people to discover they were injecting moose and deer with the mRNA vaccines against COVID. Otherwise, they'd have to lock them down and they'd have to stick to like one tree and that could be really difficult for the poor moose community. Dr. Ardis referred to magazines for hunters. I am not a hunter, but hunters have known all along. I didn't know about it. Zuckerberg and his wife funded a study in which 100 white-tailed deer received a Pfizer PCR test and an mRNA vaccine through Zutis. Subsequently, 100 million shots have been given to animals and nobody knew about it and nobody talked about it. A hunter who kills a deer and thinks the meat is organic is going to be disappointed. Ardis went on to say that Bill Gates is into injecting the mRNA into vegetables such as tomatoes, avocados, and lettuce. So when we're gone, pretty much everything people eat or drink or anything or consume made by anybody in power and any large production facility is going to have in it what they want to put in it. And that's just going to be life. So they will affect the population and the animal life and the plant life as they see fit. Now let me just be very clear on this and I want to just make sure you understand. For those who did, due to pressure or misunderstanding or not thinking or taking the time to process what's actually going on with this whole exercise, took this snake bite. It is not the mark of the beast. They are not lost. They were misguided. There are consequences to that and we can pray that they'll be okay and pray for them. And God is miraculous and can do incredible things. You're allowed to make mistakes. We're human. He already factored in our stupidity when he loved us and called us. So, no, it is the formation of the mark of the beast system. And at the end of the day, all of it will be rolled into one process of a chip or a tattoo or something that will be integrated with your body, as we're seeing already with people being microchipped. And everything will be in there, in your right hand or your forehead, as Revelation says it will be. And it will get there. It will monitor vitals. It will implant probably Nephilim DNA. It will change you so that once you take that, and you'll know why you're taking it, they will clearly tell you that you are accepting him. This is his mark, and you are deferring to him. So that it's not a... He can't surprise you and say it's a packet of knickknacks, but he's slipping you a roofie. No, you'll know what you're getting and you will have a choice to make because choices need to be made because they have eternal consequences. So again, if you were one of those that took it, God bless you. We pray for you that you don't have the worst of the consequences or that you got one of the placebos that you've learned from this whole process and skip anything they try and force on you now point being they're going to force this on everyone through the food that people eat but again our time is up and we're out of here so we really don't have anything to stress about god is in control god bless keep looking up shalom